Doing too much TV is the hot seat. It's Mr. Peanut right here. We got the man Demacio Page. Demacio, where are you from? Man, born and raised in Albuquerque, in the West Side. You know, that's that's Albuquerque's finest yeah. right there. So, uh, what made you want to start training? Uh, you know what? I just, uh, you know, the way I grew up, I guess, you know, just, uh, you know, growing up, fighting, make, making malas, doing everything you're doing wrong, you know what I'm saying? And it was just, uh, uh, I found wrestling in high school and it kind of helped steer me away from all the all the crap, you know, so as soon as I was done wrestling in college, actually, you know, it was just like a, uh, it was natural, it was the second step of my life was to go to that, to fighting, you know, and it was, it transitioned right. And where did you go to school as far as college and high school? Uh, I went to West Mesa High School, um, I graduated from there, became a state champion wrestling, um, which is real Shuna College, and I did a semester up in Fresno. Okay, shout out to Fresno. Uh, six months from now, where you where you see yourself? Uh, you know what? Getting another fight, and you know, just staying busy. This year, you know, I've been out for just, man. I've only had three fights in the last two and a half years. You know, just plague of injuries. This is the first time where I feel real good, and I just hopefully, you know, give give me another fight by the six months. Just keep on rolling. You know, try to get three or four fights by the end of the year. Hopefully, you stay injury free. Hoping that. Uh, who are your inspirations and motivation going on? Uh, you know what? My mom. You know, my mom and my dad. You know. Uh, my mom just a great person all the way around, uh, hard worker, very smart, very intelligent uh, lady, um, an entrepreneur, uh, did, got her hands on everything, did everything, and uh, self, like self made, you know, just made made her money and it made me think outside the box and how to make money and how to do it right and, and not to really burn anybody as you're doing it. And then my dad too, because he's always taught me how to work hard, he's always saying that old school work hard, work hard. And, uh, yeah, I thank both of them, you know, for, for where I'm at today. It wasn't my dad, she taught me how to work hard. You know, I, my, ethic, my work ethic is, is, is really strong because of my dad. I'm probably not play harder later. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm done playing, man. I, I, I played all, uh, I played it out. <laughs> I'm done, I'm, I'm growing up now. All work, all work. Yeah. Uh, who, is there somebody that you would most like to see in the hospital? Uh, you know what? Um, I, I just want to fight. I really don't care who I fight right now. I'm just, uh, just want to stay busy. Just want to, you know, get, get the W uh, bundled up again, and you know, get a good run for the title. You know, I got uh, my last few fights been against top ten fighters. You know, to, you know, just uh, keep on. You know, what I'm saying, learn from that. Build, make, put the building box together, and you know, just uh, build some steam, man. It's the biggest thing right now. Just like I said, I had all these injuries. And I'd have an injury, I'd come back, I'd fight a top 10 fighter. I had an injury, I'd come back, fight a top 10 fighter. You know what I'm saying? So I really couldn't find my groove. So now I think I, could, you know, I feel a lot more comfortable now after this last fight, and I know I'm gonna find my groove this time around. Okay. Top three movies. Top three movies, man. I'm gonna say Blood In, Blood Out. It's just, that's just a given. Um, let me see, what else is good? You know what? Um, man, there's a lot of good movies, man. But I, I, Blood In Blood Out is always one. I'm gonna say Chronicles of Riddick's cool. I think I just like it because I was younger. This is cool, you know, just like, you know, a guy who has like, a, where the whole world just rests on his shoulders and, and you know what I'm saying? And he defies it all as he becomes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it was his destiny for him to become a king of you know, people who were coming and taking over the yeah. universe, you know, so that was cool. Um, man, and, uh, let me see. You know what? I'm about to say another one was the Sword Circuit movies in the 80s, man. Because I was, you know, I grew up in the 80s and Sword Circuit, man, it was just, it was good stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> so they made a movie about Damasio Page. Who played Um, You know what I'm saying, man? Mm. Man, you know, I, I would say Brad Pitt, but you know what? Nah, he already did play some crazy movies. He's a great actor and all that. I like the way he does it. Um, let me think, who's really good, good actor nowadays? Uh, uh, what's the Stayham? Uh, the dude with uh, the crank, crank and all that. Stayham? Stayham. Oh, yeah, Jason Statham. Statham, I gotta say. <laughs> but here, man, he, he would play me. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. Good. he's good. Question for the ladies. As far as females, what do you look for and what turns you away from certain females? You know what, uh, man. Now, you know, I like an independent woman, you know, someone who can provide for themselves and work hard, smart, very intelligent, educated, um, you know, just, uh, I think that's just big, you know, someone who wants to, who's willing to work, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to support and, and have be someone's crutch. Yeah. I need, you know what I'm saying, I need, I need the same help, I need the same, 
You know what I mean? You gotta be 50 50 because you know, I can't fight all my life. I'm, I'm bringing in money now, but when I'm done fighting, you know what I'm saying? That, that support, that financial support, that emotional support, and, and moral support, you know, from a woman, you know. I, th I think a very educated woman, hard working, hard working ethics, is, is, uh, is key, man. You know, I don't think too many. You know, they might be mad at me, but, you know, it's very far and few that, are, that, that do that. And, like, I like to think if you find a woman, who goes to church more than your mom, keep her. If she could cook better than your mom, you better keep her. <laughs> Music wise, who would you say would be your top five? Like who gets the most plays? You know, uh, Tupac, man. Tupac, uh, for sure. You know, Tupac, you know, Lil Wayne's up there too. Um, you know, uh, let me see. You gotta go with Easy E, you know, NWA. I'm gonna say the whole NWA crew. So we'll say that'd be number three. Uh, uh, let me see, you know, Drake's alright, you know, he's cool, but it's just like... Kind of hit and miss. Yeah, hit and miss. He's a little soft for me, you know what I'm saying? That hardcore, you know, he's supposed to ask for Drake's song? No, no, I don't come with Drake's song. You know what? Mortal Technique, man. Mortal Technique, you know, Atmosphere's badass too as well. Um, for all you people that don't know who those guys are, man, it's better to look Ooh. it up. Atmosphere, Mortal Technique, check it out, man. Very political people, man. Very, a lot of insight with Mortal Technique. Very good. Um, you know, I know my hand say Biggie too. You know, that, that, that's the, the originators of gangster rap, Biggie and Tupac, you know. So that, I think that's where rap actually separated too from, from gangster rap to more of like a hip hop level too as well. They were able to separate from gangster rap to regular rap and hip hop. Yeah, absolutely. So to spin off from that, if you could have anybody make a song that you come out to, who would you choose? Mm. Yeah, that's a hard one, you know, like I said. A collaboration that everybody you just said. Yeah, exactly, you know, but um, I'd say Mortal Technique. Mortal Technique? Yeah. Mortal, if you're watching, let's make it happen. Make a song for this guy. Yeah, man, they, you know, they're, they're hard, bro. They roll hard, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like I said, very political. If, if you, you know, if you're an intelligent person, you listen to them. You know what they're talking about. They, they, they got some deep stuff that they, they be rapping about. They speak truth. Truth, exactly. What is missing in a lot of other people's music. Exactly. Exactly. So you got a choice to live anywhere in the world. Where is it? They find your mask. Here in Albuquerque, man. I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. I, I, I'm yeah. over here, you know. I've had a girlfriend's town. One of, one of my ex girlfriends say, hey, she, as soon as I'm done fighting, she wants to leave Albuquerque. And it's just, you know, yeah. I'm not with her no more. But. <laughs> That's why she wanted to leave. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to leave, but I, you know, I don't think I can leave this place. You know, I'm comfortable here. I love it here. This is home. Uh, you know, I got, I got homes here. I got my family here. You know, I don't know which family yet, but my, my immediate family's here. I got, I got family in LA. You know, what I'm saying, I think stuff like that. But uh, I just couldn't leave. You know, just maybe buy a vacation home. You yeah. know, in LA, maybe, maybe Florida, I somewhere. Know, but, yeah, where I go out, leave here for the winter time. That's it. We come back here this summer. Okay. So you win the lottery. Absolutely. First thing that you buy. First thing I buy, I buy some uh, apartments, man. Apartment complex. I, I buy me four or five. I try to buy me like, you know what I'm saying? Like real apartment complex, like yeah. 30 deep. Yeah. Cause you know what? The money only lasts so long. You know, people oh, like, yeah. you know, it depends on how much lottery it is. If it's, say it's a, and I say, give me the lump sum. You know, I'm gonna walk away about 40 mil. So you know what? The apartment complex costs about 20 mil. You know, buy a couple of those. And then, you know, I'll bring money in for the rest of my life. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll bring that money back. You figure I got 30 apartments in that thing deep. No times 800. What is that? You got 60, you got uh, 24. Man, we'd be 24,000 every month. That's just off of that one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 24,000. You know what I'm saying? Man, I make, man, after the whole year, shoot, that's, that's a lot of money. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll make almost a half a million by the end of the year. It's gonna build up, you know, and it builds building box for if when I have kids, they'll ask me to fall and they all wouldn't have money coming in. You know, everybody needs income, and that's just residual income. So being as you're from New Mexico, I agree. Strong. You know what? I go on my trips big time. So the longest time I was green. The longest time I was red. And now I'm just going to move together. I just do Christmas. Christmas? Yeah. I just do Christmas now. I remember right? I gotta say the first time I moved here out of California, someone was like, you, you want a Christmas? I'm like, it's like Jew. Yeah, you know, Christmas. Take it ahead. Yeah, you know, just uh, I'm Christmas now. <laughs> so, what would you consider to be your biggest blessing? Uh, you know, my family. You know, my family. Just uh, 
you know, just uh, getting by, you know, like, you know, these last few years has been really rough for me, and uh, I haven't been buying that much, and just, you know, still finding a way to pay the bills, you know, and just living happy, I think just my family in general, my friends, my real friends that are out there that, you know, support me, even though, yeah, even though, you know what I'm saying, I haven't won my last fights, you know, but they're still there, they still support me, and they still believe in me. You know, they know I can be a world champion. They tell me all the time, you can be a world champion, so you can. You just gotta, you just gotta focus and do it right, you know? And I think uh, that's the biggest blessing, is just my, my friends and my family, and just them, them still believing in me. Okay. So what would you say is one thing that not too many people know about the last year? Mm, man, you know, I'm, um, I'm a real humble person, you know? Just, uh, I might look mean, I might look scary on TV, I might look like, you know, a jerk or an asshole. You know, people say that, you know, it's just because they don't come up to me and talk to me. That's the biggest thing. I'm the most open person. You want to do a conversation? We'll have a conversation. I'm not going to shut your way. I'm not going to brush my shoulder off and act like you're nobody. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if I'm not fighting, I'm just like everybody else. At the end of the day, when I'm done fighting, I'm just like everybody else. You know, what makes me better than everybody? You know what I'm saying? Everybody else on this planet, this world. I'm, you know, I'm not better than anybody. I'm not better than the guy working at McDonald's who's busting his ass to support his family. You know what I'm saying? He, if he's working 110%, he's giving it all he's got. You know what? Be the best McDonald's when you can. Be the best janitor when you can. You know? What makes me better than him? He's working hard. He's making a living. You know what I'm saying? It's just I got a gift and I got a blessing of, of, of fighting. You know? It just so happens I, I make more money than you. But at the end of the day, I'm still the same person as him. I'm, you know what I'm saying? got the same heart, same everything. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a good person. You know, just come up to me. You think you're you know, my ass or something. Just come up to me, talk to me, you know, hang out. And you'll, you'll change your mind. Just like that. Just like that. So describe yourself in three words. Three words. Um, you, know, you know, just, uh, I'm going to say family. Family's biggest, man. If you don't have strong ties with family, you ain't nobody. You're not going to be anything that's continuous. It takes that family support. If you don't have that family support behind you, you know, what's really going to motivate you when all the anger runs out? You know, a lot of these athletes, you know, I had it too, I had it. The anger, where it was like, it just drove me, just drove me, drove me, drove me, drove me. Then now I reached a point where it's like, there ain't no more anger, it's all used up, it's that fuel's gone. And now you gotta come back to reality and, and, and work, you know, and it's like, all right, cool, and it's the family that keeps you going. So I, I would say family is one, you know, and uh, just, uh, you know, just just the will to survive, another one, just, you know what I'm saying, strong will, and, you know, survive in life, and just hard work, and just good at it, work at it. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing. Write that down. So there's any shout outs that you want to give? You know what? Just uh, give shout outs you know, to my friends and family. You know, big time. You know, just that all of them, man. Just, like I said, they're behind me 100%. No matter what, good or bad I do, you know, they're, they're behind me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the biggest thing I say is you make, you make decisions like maybe good or bad, and hopefully the right decision in the end. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a bad decision is the right decision. You know, sometimes the right decision is the wrong decision. So hopefully the decisions we make make us in the end, you know. But uh, I just want to thank my teammates, you know, uh, everybody at Jackson's ever made. Uh, Coach Rivaco at Colorado Pro Fitness. Uh, you know, uh, John Chamber from uh, Montreal is my strength conditioning coach. You know, like I said, just, uh, you know, my sponsors, I can't remember who my sponsors. And, you know, so next on, uh, you know, Remy Lyon, you know, uh, you know one, one dog. You know what I'm saying? It's just one dog, man, Remy Lyon. Uh, you know, uh, Duke, 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 Duke City, you know, it's Duke City in general, you know, and, and the Duke wear by himself, you know what I'm saying, uh, the old man, you know, he hooks me up, he sponsors me too, so you see me wearing the Duke on my shorts, so that's uh, people I like to thank. Also, shout out to Stylist the Duke, the part I'm at right now. You know, it's Mr. Pino right here, we want to thank Demacio for sitting in the hot seat with us, appreciate you, man. Thank you, man, I really, to you. I really appreciate it, man. We're out.